All right, we're trying to make a fire here at the campsite, super late. We're about to go 22 miles tomorrow and Sunday. So 12, 12 miles tomorrow and eight miles on Sunday. And we're trying to make a fire here. So Andy's, it's his turn now. Um, he's gonna stay here all night and blow the fire to make sure that it out? is roaring. So in the morning when we wake up, it's gonna be a roaring inferno. And then he's gonna turn around with droopy eyes in the morning when we come up to him. So what are we doing tomorrow, Andy? Hiking, fishing, eating, with a, a chance of dying in the rain. Yeah, it's gonna rain tomorrow. All day, from 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. That's why we're getting our fire now, so because we, we're not getting a fire tomorrow. Yeah, probably not, unless we make one inside the shelter. Ooh. And then we shelter. scare everyone out. Well, I've woken up and I'm packing everything here. I'm just getting everything put into my backpack. And I can hear there's a light drizzle outside. So, I guess we might be hiking in some rain, which I already knew. The weather app said that it was going to rain a whole lot. Um, but, <sighs> well, I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Well, well, well. We have been hiking for like 30 minutes and it's pouring down raining. Well, it's not pouring, it's pretty strong though. And yeah, we're just, we're going across a bridge now. There's a whole river over here. This is a place we could have fished maybe. But yeah, we got a while left to go. We have 12 miles of hiking today. Well, we've been hiking for a while now, an hour and a half. Keeps pouring down, pouring down rain. And my jacket, apparently my jacket's old and it does not have waterproof coating. So it's soaking through, which is not great since we have many more hours to hike. We have like another eight miles of hiking and Actually nine miles, eight or nine miles. And my jacket is not doing well. Well, the rain jacket has soaked through completely. It's freezing outside. We decided we're not gonna go the entire 12 miles because it's too dangerous to try to be fully soaked in cold weather. Um, so we're going to be stopping at the next shelter, which is about a half, which is about a half mile away and stopping there for the day and night, making some food and warming up and drying off. So, Daniel's back there somewhere. Back in the, back there, I don't know where he is exactly, but we're gonna have to stop a little bit early today. Well, I finally got to the shelter and I am, um, we are all, in our sleeping bags. <clears throat> Andy's well, upstairs in his. <laughs> well, Daniel was in his sleeping bag, but he's migrating to the upper regions of this place, which is like a, a loft up there. And I'm just here at the, the basement of it or whatever, but it's pouring down raining outside. Not pouring, but enough to like create trouble and all our stuff was soaked and uh, they I guess didn't put their stuff in plastic bags so it got soaked even worse but luckily I was able to put my stuff in plastic bags and so most of my stuff's dry well we woke up but we are cleaning up everything getting ready to go and there all our shoes are wet and half our clothes are wet and we're at the shelter and Yes, it's going to be a long 13, 14, 15 mile day, as Daniel says. We got going, we got started on the hike, and we're now at the water source where Andy and Daniel are getting water. And I have mostly enough water, but I might get some more just in case. But we'll be heading back after that miserable hiking, 
experience. Hopefully there'll be no more rain today, but there will be wind. So we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully we'll be fine. Well, we're almost halfway done. We've hiked about six or so miles and we're trying to get to the halfway point before we can take a break and eat some food. And then we'll hike the rest and then maybe we'll go out to eat somewhere. Sun's starting to come out of the clouds and light everything up. Well guys, we've been hiking on the trail for a while, but there's this, I guess it's a dam here with this lake to see. We're in a flurry storm now. They're coming from everywhere, from up above. And, well, our rain gear was soaked yesterday. Hopefully it's dry if we might need to use it. Finally, all the snow stopped, and I'm back to hiking the trail, and hopefully around four or less miles, maybe three miles left to go, and we're making our way over these Pennsylvania rocks. Well, we're tired and our feet are hurting us, but we are finally done the trail. And now we're gonna get some food. And see you guys next time.